back here in the GSL CODES Finals. Right now, Genius is up one game. And by the way, I have a quick announcement to make. Apparently, we are getting so much traffic for uh, online for this event that uh, is, there has been some crash on the site. Yeah, We have people working on it right now as we speak. We hope uh, it has not interrupted your viewing experience, but we do assure you that uh, we have people on it. Yes. yes. We have the GOM technicians working on it nonstop. We want everyone in the world to be watching this finals. It's already epic. We've already had one fantastic game. I'm sure many more are soon to follow. Well, that was quite a sight. Game number one, let's talk about it. That was a game well, where they both played standard. Yeah. Which is not normal for Genius. Normally Genius does something wonky or something tricky. Well, he had a superb uh, three base timing attack. It was really, really well done. And he came in from an angle DRG wasn't really expecting, man. Yeah. He skipped the spine crawlers almost completely. He basically for the just forges. circumvented the defense. Yeah. Yeah. The infestors turned out not to be all that useful for DRG this time. Well, let's take a look at some awesome stats here of the finals history. Things like the ranking difference between the two players, things like. Uh, <laughs> The sitting location, six <laughs> champions set and left, seven on the right. Uh, that's telling me I think DRG's going to win it, man. Looks like he has over 50% chance He's to win He's got a higher one. chance. He picked the right seat, right? Yeah. And uh, a lot of great stats here. Look at that. The, the win rate losing one set, as you see, only one time by Nessie, like we were talking about before. Yeah. And winning set one 12 times. So out of 13, man, it's almost always that. Over 90% of the time now, Genius is favored to be the winner. But DRG is so good. I absolutely put him up with the likes in SD. I think it can be done. Of the impact this will have on DRG's career after already getting second place in the MLG Winter Arena to then get a second place here in a GSL Codex. Yeah. Wow. That's, that sucks. Right. That's going to turn him into Neo Marine King. <laughs> he keeps that up. That's true. That's true. In fact, ended in set seven. Notice how it's Slayer's MMA in there. Notice how Nesty had, like, has all these records in there. It's kind of funny. But uh, the second place of Slayer's MMA in that was, in fact, DRG in the Blizzard Cup. Went to game seven. Losing game one doesn't matter to DRG. Losing game two doesn't matter to DRG. Losing game three doesn't matter to DRG. Losing game four doesn't matter to DRG if he won one of the first three games. <laughs> but basically what I'm trying to say is he can always, always, always come back and make it a series. You know, it's so fascinating to see that um, the MVP team is always surprised at how well Genius does on camera. But look, Genius is the clutch toss. Yeah. He is completely clutch. I, no, nothing's getting in the way of this guy. You can see how confident he is. Uh, as he walked to the stage after winning that game, giving the thumbs down to his teammate DRG. They're out well, for blood know, today, Artosis. I feel like the reason for this is, Tase, is because DRG really harped on it a little bit, how when it really matters, he wins, but during practice, he's not so good. That is actually the sign of an extremely intelligent player because yeah. he plays his opponent. If he's playing just random kids in their team that don't really get the game, he's going to do complex stuff that his opponents in Code S will be thrown off by or it will counter what they're doing. Whereas if he's just playing a mindless guy who's just macroing and attacking at certain times, that's going to throw Genius off because he's used to operating on a higher level. So that's just something to consider. You know, I think um, you know, the way to sum it up is Genius is... The better his opponent is, the better Genius is going to do it because he gets exactly. inside their head exactly. and figures out what's going on. He gets it, man. He gets it. He's so smart, but DRG is too. That's why this is going to be such a good series. I, we have never had a final pack like this here in Korea. No, no. We have never had, I can't even emphasize how many people there are. There's, I think if there's a fire here, everybody's going to die. Except you and me. Except We're going to ride on our magic carpet. That's right. All right, so game number two between Genius and DRG on Antigua Shipyard here in the GSL Code S Finals. In the upper left, in the red, we have our Protoss player up one game. If he wins this next game, he'll have a huge, even, even bigger uh, momentum behind him. His ID is... MVP Genius. His opponent and his teammate down one game. 
He needs to come back. Currently the best Zerg in the world. He is MVP Tongleku. A fearful face. He's got that right Terminator there. face on right now. Dude, he as the match goes on, he will look more and more concentrated. That's actually something I've noticed with DRG. It sometimes takes him a little bit to get warmed up, but eventually yeah. you just look at him, you're like, oh my god, can anyone beat someone that looks like that while they play? <laughs> it's right. actually it reminds me a lot of Jadong in StarCraft 1, the way he looks. Uh, yes, when he gets so really focused. they get very intense where the only thing that exists in this entire world are Zerg and Protoss. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's so focused. Yeah. Where, whereas when you look at Genius, there's just this kind of air of confidence. He's, he's definitely concentrated, but he seems yeah. very, he's, I guess, uh, more collected. Yeah, yeah. It's more of a laid back type of thing. There are so many people in here. Colossus versus Zergling. Versus 100 Zerglings, excuse me. Colossus walks up onto high ground that Zerglings can't get to. Colossus lives. That's right. End of story. <laughs> Zerglings surround Colossus' feet. No problem. Colossus lifts up feet and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so standard from both players. Going to have a Forge Fast expand against a triple expand from DRG. DRG never, ever, ever does not go three base in this matchup. It's so unbelievably rare. And in fact, for that reason, I think there's going to be a game in the series where he does something completely different after killing the pro. I think that's just a smart thing for him to do. He can't play just the same exact macro game every time. Because as we saw last time, he played it very well. But Genius, he saw through it tasteless. Now we do have a, a, a second pro bat on the map hit it. Yeah. So that tells me that we're going to have a timing push here. He's going to hide a pylon. And um, I don't know if that's necessary to do, but that looks like it's, it's the way he's going to approach that. Probably because in game number one, he played a standard game in one. In game number two, he might as well mix it up. That's why yeah. Genius is a genius. Also note, if this game goes on for a long period of time, base number four is usually what can cause the game. It's very hard yes. to get the fourth base. It's a map where, uh, unlike Princess Belcher Beach, the longer the game goes, the harder it is for Zerg. Yes, that's a, it's a good way to put it, Tasteless. Once they get that fourth base up, the map opens up, and they just surround everything, and it gets very hard for Protoss. Yeah. But before that, it can be fine. Uh, now, I want to talk about that probe that he's hiding. Uh, if he's trying to make a proxy pylon to attack the third from the high ground there, well, that's a great place to put one. DRG always has an overlord where you would go. Oh, it yeah, always look at that. He actually has one parked right yeah. now, exactly where the pylon's going to be. So this go, yeah. timing attack will probably be thwarted. It's because that's the best place to put a pylon. So, I mean, go watch every DRG game on this map. You are going to see an overlord there every single time. And if he knows it's coming, I mean, if DRG knows something's coming, you're not going to kill him with it very often. It'll happen sometimes, like we saw last game. He pretty much knew what was coming at him. But you you have to be pretty fantastical. It's interesting to see that uh, the average play time here for Genius is about 16 minutes. For, That's actually uh, it's pretty PvP. decent for Protoss, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He, he does not do a lot of uh, a lot of cheeses. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he does timings, but there's the difference between a timing and a cheese, just so you guys know, is a timing is where the, it builds up to like maybe one moment where on the third base you attack and like, you know, a very specific moment where either yeah. the other player's tacking or you might have more units or the player has an expansion. And oh my god! Oh wow. Whoa! He must know actually that DRG only puts the Overlord there yeah. to check for the pylon. Oh, so he's absolutely. not going to assume that anything's hidden up here. Oh, what? Oh, this is pure risk, but pure awesome. Two proxied starports. So, what we're going to see here most likely is three void rays into Phoenix. Not two void rays with two starports. You never get two. It's not a good number, but three is going to be awesome. One would be okay. None would be okay. We're going to see three. And when you, the trick is with three, you just kill everything. Yeah. Like three charged void rays. When you try to walk over a spore to burrow it, they kill it before it burrows. Before it can go up one shot, three charge void rays will kill now it. Here's a question. Uh, let, let, before the action picks up, do you attack the destructible rocks to get the void rays, all three of them charged up, or do you just go in and attack? I think that you go immediately into attack. If he sees you attacking things, that gives him time. Build three, move in. Just start attacking queens, hatcheries, anything. It doesn't matter. Just start dealing damage. Don't let anything morph into spores around you. He's just got to, basically, he's got to take out this third base. If he does not kill the third, then it's over. 
He has to now, do something. I, I don't know if we got a shot of it, but did he did he send an Overlord in there to scout? He didn't even get Warp Gate. Are you serious? This is this yeah. is an all in. Yeah, in many ways, I would say so. Yeah, he's got to do a huge amount of damage with this. All right, so he's going right up to the three Void Rays, following it up with Phoenixes. We have one Spore on the way, but three Void Rays, how much do they care about one Spore? Not too, too much. He does have an additional Queen being made in this hatchery, very important. His creep from his natural to his third is not connected, which is pretty normal for this point in the game. That's going to make it a lot harder to hold as well. And yeah, he's actually waiting for oh. these next two Phoenixes out. Beautiful oh, move. Man. Beautiful move. He's going to just snipe down that Spore, lift the Queen, then kill the Queen. That's how this is going to roll, and DRG is going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, this is really bad. Here we go! Can the Zerg uh, respond Oh, he's going for the Queen first here. Nope, goes back to Miss Micro, Miss Micro. Oh, man. That might just cost him the game. That was indecisive. You cannot play with your Void Rays like that. He needs to go in there, lift up those Queens, but he's decided, I'm going to go elsewhere. Thing is, now his Starports have to be rallied around those Queens. Yep. Not a lot of Spores Hydra here. Hydra on their way. Ooh. He's moving the Queens down here. Remember, they're not, they're slow when they're off screen. All right, he's going to start charging up. It's going to take those Queens a little bit to get up here. He has enough Void Rays and uh, Phoenixes at this time to take out Queens, but Did it's the Spores that are scary. All in. I mean, this is a situation yeah. where if this does not actually end very soon with the Protoss winning, the game is over. Yeah, he's in a world of hurt here, Tasteless. He is getting more gates at home, but realistically, he's he doesn't even have warp splash gate. damage. He doesn't even have warp gate. That's true. Uh, I don't know if he forgot it or if he's just trying to be that uh, aggressive. All right, All right. He is still finding places to do damage now. Overcomes that spore, but no, oh, oh. some mismanagement is again from his units. A lot of queens sitting around here. He is making hydras also. No more Stargate units as a smart choice. He's and he just transition. now started Warp Gate. Now the question is, did he forget Warp Gate or was in his build and, and well, timed out so after perfectly? he was making the Stargate units, I guarantee you he should have made Warp Gate. There's no, There's no reason. Yeah, I can see it skipping it just to get the Stargate started, but it was a mistake to wait this long. Now with Hydra's out and that many Queens, these Void Rays are done doing damage, Tasteless. Oh, oh my no. god! Hydra's on creep are just too fast. He puts the Phoenixes in the front to try to take some damage. The Void Rays obviously the more valuable of the two. Yeah. DRG already up in the 70 plus drone count. Oh no, Genius is already looking so dead cases. He has no splash damage. Hydra he lost another century. on the way. And he doesn't have blink, he doesn't have enough force fields. Warp gate's only halfway done. Oh man, he, so he's actually being very smart though right now. He's throwing up a ton of cannons. And that's what he needs to do. There's really, any, he's probably gonna die anyways. But it's the right thought process. Uh oh, I'm in a lot of trouble. Throw up cannons. <laughs> you gotta have something, man. You gotta have something. So he's gonna go ahead and keep on harassing over here with his Phoenixes. It's as good a choice as any of those Phoenixes. It's not gonna be too worthwhile with that many yeah. Hydras coming. All right, here comes a chain of units. Now, does he have enough force fields? No. Nope. No, he oh. missed. He, he didn't put that force field in the right spot. And he's dead. That should be GG. Expect GG any second as DRG. Deflects the all-in from Genius. Goes home with Queens moving across the map. And that we will soon right. be moving on to game number three. Well, uh, you know, he's going to sit here and try to hold it with those Hydras with their huge amount of range. Going to just outrange everything and kill. The Queen's on their way as well. He's setting everything. Mm -hmm. And being some Stalkers, those aren't going to help. He is trying to get a Colossus out. He figures, well, Colossus are really good, but not good enough in this situation. And Everything should be going down pretty soon The Queens soon are here. even transfusing the Hydras. How often do you see a Hydra get transfused? Not too often, Jesus. Thanks for asking. <laughs> the Void Rays are in the red. It would take a miracle. The Colossus is almost out, though. Mutas on the way. I think the Colossus against Mutas also not going to do so yeah, well. Yeah, not a fair fight there for that Colossus. Yep. Going up to more gates still. From now, here, let's say that he holds his attack off and, uh, you know, DRG stops attacking. He's going to go for an all-in two base. There's just no other way. Yeah. That bringing the Queens out here is a little bit questionable. I mean, those are, you know, the Kevin used to spread creep with Larva and Jack. Yeah, you know, he, he actually, he, I, I, I want to reject my statement. Uh, he is still, to some extent, alive right now. Um, but I, I just can't see Genius coming back from this. I thought I was yeah. going to end with that push, but I think uh, DRG was perhaps a little bit too cautious, understandably so, since yeah. in BSL finals. He really wants that first place finish. Mm -hmm. And in fact, oh, look at that. He's switching into Phoenixes. 
and switching to Phoenix is obviously going to help against Venus, but that's too many. That's simply too many. And of course, even though there's been a Phoenix buff, there's no way that he can get up to that buff right now. Oh, oh my God! This. Oh my God! He's going to chase him all the way back up, but Mutalist. Yeah, Mutalist coming in here. They are going to ravage this probe line, take out these cannons, no doubt as well. Void Ray's coming up as well as the Colossus. Colossus, go away! You can't attack those Mutas. And they're going to take down all these cannons. He's just Genius in such rough shape. 37 probes against 70 plus drones with the fourth base just finishing up for DRG. Now, if these Stargates get spotted, it's going to be bad news here for Genius. Things are already looking very bad. This is an almost unwinnable position. I, yeah. It's, if this was boxing, then Genius has been rocked. If this is boxing, then Genius has a concussion and someone should stop the fight. <laughs> He's got mostly zealots right now. Uh, they are not going to do anything at all against this army. What he's trying to do is get a huge number of Phoenixes fly in and somehow ravage all the Mutas, but he isn't going to have the range upgrade. Uh, it's, I mean, it's going to be it's so difficult for him to actually pull off. The amount of damage he's taking here, DRG is maxed. I wanted to say that DRG is maxed out on supply right now. Link's coming in here to the front. And... Oh, boy. So much damage Zerglings. being dealt here. Just right They're targeting on down. The Zerglings targeting down the Nexus here. But really what matters right now is this battle in the main. Can he kill off every Muto with those? Well, down goes <laughs> the Nexus. Nexus and is gone, man. GG. GG. Okay. Genius says, okay, that's just, I'm not even fighting fairly. It's just not worth it. Stop. He taps out. Good thing. Satisfied look on DRG's face. He deflects what was a very risky all-in. Well, but let's talk about that. Oh, DRG really happy with himself to have stopped that. Well, I think game uh, number one was very discouraging. It, it had to be because he was playing a great game. But here's the thing. That was, we don't know how it would have gone if Genius executed perfectly from second one. Here's how he executes that perfectly. You target with all three voids. You have three voids, two Phoenix. The third one's about to pop out right nearby. Okay, so you target the scorecrawler immediately. You micro back the Void Ray that is being targeted by the score crawler. When the Queens come up, you lift them, and you just sit there lifting them so your Void Rays don't take too much damage. If you get that first score crawler, things start to tumble out of control for the Zerg player. Yeah. He, then he has just Queens. You have Phoenixes coming out left and right just to lift Queens up and kill them off. You have three Void Rays. Instead, he took a lot of damage and ran away. He retarget on the Queen. You can't do that because they run on the creep, and you have to chase over a Spore. The Spore deals a ton of damage very quickly. So Genius completely bungled that opening. He had to execute perfectly. He did not. DRG took a huge I, lead I and never with you let it go. Completely. The moment I saw the Void Rays target the Spore Crawler, then what did they target? They did. They, they went to the queen. queen That's yeah, and then keep on the, the spore queen crawler. moved away, and then they went back to the spore crawler. And then he's like, "Oh wait, I've already taken too much damage." Yes, you have. Yes, and you had to target you know, that spore. That non -stop. goes to show you how much or how delicate some all-ins are. It's not it's a did very I make the right one. units. It's did I attack absolutely. No, perfectly. it's with that build proxy with those gates. You must attack perfectly. You must execute it perfectly. If the first place you're showing it has that one spore, if you don't do it like I just said, you are dead unless he screws up. Really interesting all in. I'm so curious if he forgot the warp gate at the start or if it's like one of these things were in his yeah. build. He's like, it's so precise. I'm, he says, no, yeah. I need the extra gas. I'm fairly certain that he was supposed to start it during Phoenix production. Uh, I'm, I'm quite certain that that's how it is in fact. I'm just... Let's everyone take my word for it. He was supposed to start it during Phoenix production. To get the Void Rays well, off the ground, you just, skip as much as you can. Build gateways in their main, there's never a game where you don't get work. <laughs> no, very true. You know, he should have started a lot earlier than he did. But even if that all-in didn't kill him, uh, it, 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 if he did it right, it could have done enough, enough damage to the gateway push, would have been the next thing. Oh, he yeah, would have done. He would have taken out at least a third. It was it was forgotten for at least a little bit. Well, our next map, ESV Cloud Kingdom. A new map in the ladder and in the GSL. It is going to be interesting to see how these two play from here. It's one on one. Yeah, it is. And uh, some some cool things about the map. The third base can be pretty tricky for Photos to take. Can be. You have to make some cool Sim Cities at third base, uh, and perhaps at the choke leading up to the high ground that has your natural in the third base at it. But of course, there is other ways to enter towards that third. I'm excited to see what build Genius uses here. For I, DRG, I, I don't think he's going to do an all-in. I, I could see a timing, but no all-in like the last game. No yeah, way in yeah. Unless he really wants to confuse everybody, which, which is possible, I guess. But 
I just don't see it happening. Yeah. Genius is known more for three base timings rather than two. I want to see a two base on this map. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we'll see. As it's about time for game number three. Right now it's tied. It's anybody's game so far. Genius, the incredibly smart Protoss, gets the almost perfect Dark Player DRG here in the finals of the most competitive esports show ever made, the GSL Codex.